and we introduce our great Borough President and our dear friend, Borough President James Molinaro. Past six years, working with the Staten Island community and our elected officials, we have accomplished a great deal. We completed the largest down zoning on Staten Island in 40 years. And here's another good indicator of the effect. House numbers issued by my office have declined by 47% from 2005 to 2007. We took a stand against overdevelopment and bad development, and we've gotten results. But, you know, quite frankly, one of the things that I walk out here with, it's an infectious desire to see Staten Island better. And that's what I think that the, uh, the borough president was trying to convey to all of us, where we've come from, where we are, and where we're going, working with Staten Island's elected officials throughout to make this island a better place to be. I look forward to working with them on many of the issues that affect primarily my district, and I'm sure my, my colleagues in government all look forward and are at the ready to make this uh, Staten Island a great place that Jim laid out uh, some of his vision, some of us have... Uh, vision of things we want to see and perhaps we can have a new day of coming together and actually working for important projects and see them through. I'm going to ask a question but I'm going to give you the answer. Why are our roads so jammed? What's one of the reasons it's so jammed? I'll tell you why. Staten Island has 5% of the city's population. But we have 16% of all the registered vehicles in New York City are registered on Staten Island. Now just think of that. And of course, that doesn't count all the vehicles that are registered in New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Florida, and North Carolina, whose owners really live on Staten Island. <laughs> That's why we're so gay. So we must bring our traffic light system into the 21st century. As you know, traffic lights operate on set timers. They do not adjust to changes in traffic movement. It's just plain outdated. What we need are smart lights. Down in Florida, in the South Florida area, there is such a smart light system. As you can see, this is a very busy intersection. In fact, I'll tell you how busy it is. It handles 75,000 vehicles a day. Cars are processed through their various lanes according to traffic volume, not a preset time. At this intersection in Florida, traffic controls the light. The light does not control the traffic. Tonight, I am pleased to announce that on my request, New York City's DOT, Department of Transportation, will launch a power study to bring smart light technology to Staten Island. In one of the first intersections, in one of the first intersections to be studied would be Richmond Avenue and Victory Boulevard, one of the most congested in our borough. The one issue that stuck out the most for me was the smart cameras. Having gone to Sarasota the last seven years, I'm very well aware of that particular intersection. I've traveled through it a bunch of times. I've seen that overhead structure. I've always wondered what it is. Um, but to me, that's a continuation what the borough president has always uh, preached, and that's common sense. The mayor used the term technology. 12 times in the state of the borough, uh, uh, state of the city address last week. And it's time that all the agencies and all the elected officials go out of their way to embrace that. And I think that's the, the highlight for me, taking technology to allow us to maximize the existing infrastructure we have to get traffic moving.